Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. This is of a patient uh, who attended with a severely blocked earwax, really impacted and deep into the ear, and they um, they were insistent they didn't use a cotton bud, but you can see there the indentation of the cotton bud uh, and also all the bruising around the ear canal. So um, I had to take what the patient said with a pinch of salt, unfortunately, on this occasion. And you can see it's really um, bruised at the base of the ear canal. And I'm just using micro suction, trying to detach this wax off the back part of the ear canal. So, and I'm going to use uh, the suction probe all the way around the perimeter. We want to loosen this wax off the canal wall. You can see there's a layer of skin that's enveloped this plug of wax, um, which is also attached to the canal wall. Uh, the earwax has been there for a while. Again, you can tell by the colour, it's quite dark, so it's oxidised, it's matured earwax. When earwax is freshly secreted, it's more of an orangey um, colour. And over time, the longer it's exposed to oxygen, it oxidises, similar to an apple or an avocado once you cut into it. Um, and the way earwax turns darker, um, there's a few hairs that are matted against the wax as well. Now, the patient um, walked in today, normally we just just uh, appointments only, but um, so a lot of our clients call to book uh, an appointment. Um, but this patient um, just attending, because they were in severe earache and uh, blessed them, they were really, really suffering. They, they hadn't sleep, slept for a couple of nights and uh, the patient said he'll wait all um, afternoon until he's seen if I've got a gap. So he was patient and I managed to squeeze the patient in to the clinic today and get them treated. They were suffering from tinnitus as well. Um, and they reported going on holiday a couple of weeks ago and that's when their symptoms first uh, developed. Um, they were in the swimming pool, so they went under the water. The water got into the ear and they felt it exacerbated their symptoms. So uh, more likely than not, the water seeped in behind the wax plug and formed a puddle and also, the earwax plug absorbed the water and expanded and swelled, creating more blockage in the ear. So I've just put a hint of olive oil spray in there just to loosen this plug of um, wax. And you can see that's really helped me to bring it forwards. Uh, we're just at the entrance now and uh, it's just got trapped. So in a moment, I am going to use a St. Bart's ear hook. I'm going to prise this out the entrance of the ear canal, but the, the complex bot of the procedure is complete. We've managed to loosen the wax, wax plug, bring it forwards, take it away from the eardrum. So I'm just using the ear hook, just trying to get in and behind, and I'm re-entering the hook at the roof of the ear canal. So we're right near the entrance, and we're nowhere near the entrance because of all these hairs. So these hairs um, should only be found in the outer third of the ear canal, the cartilaginous portion. That's because the skin that lines the cartilaginous portion um, has the dermis layer, which is the, the middle uh, layer of skin. And it's in the dermis where the hair follicles are found. The inner two thirds of the ear canal, the bony part of the ear canal, there's no dermis layer of skin. It's only the epidermis the, uh, or the epithelial layer of skin, the, the outermost surface layer of skin. And um, you don't find hair follicles on that region of um, the skin. So eardrum's intact, a bit opaque, um, so a bit of tympanous grossness. Now this is their right turn. You can see they've also been using a cotton bud in the right. There's no earwax there, but uh, there centrally uh, on the eardrum, uh, there's a evidence of a heel perforation just um, just below centre uh, underneath the umbo, which is part of the hammer bone that attaches to the eardrum. Um, so that's all the wax from the patient's left ear. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys, and you're all taking care of yourselves. Please do stay tuned. I've got loads more videos to upload in due course. Take care. Bye.